The effects that concussions have on the human brain are well documented, and those who suffer a concussion are more susceptible to having another one. But a Valley company believes that there is a new device that can recognize if someone has had a traumatic brain injury by simply looking into their eyes. Christy Seifkin live to explain tonight. Christy. Good evening, you guys. Yeah, this company, Cicadis, has actually tapped into 10 years of research from Barrows Neurological Institute, and they've developed a really cool technology that uses a scanning device, uh, really a high-speed camera that looks at someone's eyes and then uses the information about those eye movements to tell if they have Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, or even a traumatic brain injury. What if you could diagnose Alzheimer's or a traumatic brain injury just by looking at someone's eyes? Scottsdale startup Cicadis has developed technology to do just that. We run some software on this tablet that will, um, will capture the eye movements and then we'll send that data to the cloud where it's analyzed uh, using you know, big data type techniques. Cicadis uses a special high-speed camera to capture tiny, jerky eye movements called microcicades, the little red lines that you see here. These movements form patterns that then correlate with certain neurological disorders. The researchers have found that Parkinson's, their, their eyes drift kind of down and to the right. Uh, with Alzheimer's, uh, there's a lot more vertical movement in the drift and the correction. The eye tracking process takes just three to five minutes. And since the camera can attach to any mobile device, the technology is extremely portable. And imagine like high school football, if we baselined every player on the team during the off season when we knew that they were in a healthy state. When they got hit in a football game, you could take an instant scan and compare it to the baseline. Coaches, trainers, and doctors can see test results in real time, okay. anywhere in the world, okay. making so early diagnosis and proper treatment easier. Uh, we're trying to simplify this so that anybody can uh, administer this test and mobilize it so it can be done on a battlefield or the sideline of a football game um, or anywhere, really. Pretty amazing, and this startup is still in its early stages. The founders say that this type of technology is a great alternative to other diagnostics like an MRI that obviously take a lot longer and cost a lot more money. The device isn't on the market yet, but eventually should sell for just about $1,000 and obviously can be used on dozens and dozens, if not hundreds of people, depending on the context. Reporting live, I'm Christy Siefkin, Fox 10 News.